the beam question very popular in exams and coursework in engineering or a levels things like that so at this time i've got a beam with a mass no point load so we need to work out what happens when you've got a udl here's my beam i'm going to give it a length of five meters it's got a udl which is equivalent to the mass uniformly distributed load of three newtons per meter that means it's three newtons every meter this thing's in balance i'm going to assume it's in balance we need to find ra and rb the way you deal with this is i'm going to convert the ugl into equivalent point load so i'm going to do three newtons per meter times by five because there's five meters that gives me 15 newtons equivalent and what you do is you put that halfway because the udl acts across the entire length of the beam so you put it halfway of where the udl acts you've got 15 and it's 2.5 meters in that's equivalent makes it easy for us now we're going to work out ra and rb i'm going to do force times distance moment is force times distance pivot point is there the 15 newtons the udl wants to do this clockwise rb wants to go the other way that's the reaction Force times distance is my first force. 15 equivalent times by how far is that from here? Two and a half. Going clockwise, leave it like that. We've only got one more force, it's RB, it's the reaction. How far is RB from my pivot point? Five. Which way is it going? Anticlockwise. This beam is in balance, all add up to zero. Thank you very much. Do a bit of maths, that's 37.5. Bring this across to make it positive. RB times by five. So 37.5 divided by five will give me RB, which gives me. 7.5 newtons which makes a bit of sense because we've got 15 smack in the middle so that's going to be 7.5 and obviously ra is going to be 15 take away 7.5 which also gives me 7.5 what goes up comes down 15 coming down 15 coming up beam with a udl stroke mass over and out